Hey everyone, Claudia Bazaar here, as promised. Um, hey, <laughs> hey everyone, Claudia Bazaar here, coming to you live as promised to talk to you guys about Enrichable. So, first of all, do you know what Enrichables are, or are you new to Enrichables and have no clue what I'm talking about? The reason I'm also coming live is because they're 30% off this month only so and i've been using them you guys should have seen it in my stories on my instagram on my facebook um and know that i love 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 enrichables it's still something fairly new at pamper chef but i um i think it's one of the things that once you have it and once you use it you you just get excited about it and you just can't share it with the world right so um if you have any questions about enrichables just drop them right here in the live feed and also i created a google form so if anybody wants some samples i will definitely gladly send you some samples to try um all i ask is that you just give me your honest feedback and one thing let me just make sure you guys know this is not a diet you're gonna lose weight this has nothing like that um it's just something to boost your nutrition and add nutrition to your normal meals that's really that's really all it is so um a lot of us struggle to get our right nutrition right i'm probably like a 80 20 <laughs> uh 80 percent of the time well right now <laughs> with the quarantine it's probably more like 50 50 but typically on a typical day um i probably have about 70 percent healthy choices and 30 percent not so healthy choices and let's not even talk about my kids right they would just eat mac and cheese all day long if i let them but this is cool you can add it to mac and cheese as well so um i just got my latest subscription and i just left it in a box so you guys can see what it how it comes and you can do just a one-time purchase or you can subscribe and when you subscribe you actually get free shipping and it's super easy to cancel um and easy to renew so and right now again it's 30 percent off for the month of april and you get locked into um that price so all right so this is what they look like i'll show you and then we're actually going to open them up and show you what they actually look like and the powder and we're going to talk about consistency um and how it changes your flavor and so on right so tell me that you're watching live tell me where you guys are watching from um and again if you have any questions just drop them just drop them here. All right. So if you get a subscription for both the kale and fiber and the pea protein, this is what it looks like a little box, right? And it just ships to your door every single week. And, um, we're just going to open this. So I started opening it and then I stopped. So here we go. Box of enrichables. So it's two it's pretty big size boxes like that, right? I'm going to take them out. So you get one kale and fiber. Right? You guys see that? It's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> they like pretty boxes, right? One kale and fiber. Hi, everyone. And one pea protein. Okay. I didn't really know what pea protein was until Pamper Chef came out with these. Um, and it seems to be actually one of the hottest proteins out over the last couple months. So these are the boxes you get. And you get, um, pretty sure it's 12. Yeah. So you get 12 in each box, so 12 here and 12 there, um, and it lasts you. It depends how often you use it, right? Um, we go through ours pretty quickly, so we definitely go through this in a month um, because I just leave them out on my kitchen counter, and I just add them to anything and everything, all right? So, all right, so then you get these. So what, what do they do, right? So um, they are, first of all, they're both plant-based, okay? Um, they are both vegan. They are non-GMO, no additives, they're gluten, dairy, and soy-free, okay? And both of them have the same, same things, right? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the pea protein first. Well, actually, before I go there, let me tell you what you do with these, okay? These are not your regular protein shake that maybe only you drink, like I'm the only one in my household that drinks protein shakes, nobody else, right? But this is something for the whole family. So this is something you add on to what you're already drinking, eating, baking, cooking, whatever, okay? Um, this is not something you go out of your way. This is something you add on to boost your nutrition. So um, you can add these into sauces, you can add them to spreads, you can add them to dressings, to soups, right? Um, 
that's one of the choices. You can add them on right at the end. You can add them to pasta or rice dishes. Just sprinkle a little bit or the whole thing if you're feeding about four people. You can also add them to drinks and smoothies. So that's another fun option to boost your smoothies. Uh, batters and doughs are really good. Um, this one, especially the pea protein, like I use it when I make bubble waffles for my kids pancakes i throw extra protein in there even oatmeal even just a little instant oatmeal i sprinkle some protein in there just to boost i sprinkle it in actually for me but i also sprinkle it in for my cookie uh for my cookies for my kids especially in uh doughs but yes you could use those in cookies as well and just put some in there um also ground beef uh you probably wouldn't add the protein but you would add the kale and fiber for your taco meats um your ground turkeys after they're brown you can definitely sprinkle some on there and it's almost like a seasoning but it, it boosts your nutrition so here's what you get so your dish is more nutritious pretty catchy i have to say so myself all right so if you guys have any questions comment below tell me which one kind of what interests you more or what questions you have about them pea protein or kale and fiber so then you get these 12 little packets so they're individually wrapped so you can easily use them like that right you guys can see yes okay and um what's also cool if you ever bought i just bought some new protein product just for me but if you ever buy anything like you know the ingredient list is like a mile long so this one literally the only ingredient now, if you can see it the only ingredient is pea protein that is it nothing else <laughs> okay it's one ingredient that is it all right and it has 50 calories one packet and it adds about 10 grams of protein so all you do is just open it up and if you're you know if you're you uh, oh <laughs> ideally you want to add it to uh something that serves two to four people Sometimes if it's just for me, or if I make a little bit of oatmeal, I just kind of sprinkle. So I do a lot of sprinkling. Sometimes I don't use the whole packet. Oh my gosh, open up. I just do a little bit of sprinkling. So I brought these glass bladder balls up here so you guys could see kind of what this look like. So each of them weighs about 12 grams and it's just like a clear-ish, tannish um, powder for the pea protein, okay? So with this one, it's not gonna, you can't taste it really. It adds a little bit of graininess depending on how much you use. So I would never use a whole packet in like one cup of oatmeal. But if you add it to four cups of oatmeal, you know, for four people, then you're good. Um, but it, it's pretty flavorless. It I mean, actually, it's flavorless. It has no flavor. And you can't see, right? So that you can't tell that it's in there. So that's why it's really good to add to batters because it's sneaky and <laughs> you can sneak it in there, right? So this is what one packet looks like. So you could probably, if you're just kind of sprinkling, you could probably get four of the, out of these. Um, so I do that a lot of times. I'll just like boop, 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 a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And as a mom, it may, just makes me feel better if my kids have added protein into their waffles because let's be honest, they're probably, unless you're really on them, not getting everything that they're supposed to be getting. Yay, thanks for filling out the form. If you want samples, just fill out the form above and I'll send you some free samples, okay? So this is the pea protein. Again, um, this is the box that it comes in. If you have any questions, let me know. But basically you're just boosting a little bit of protein. Protein keeps you nice and full, right? Um, so that's what this box looks like. Okay, and um, do do do. So, uh, yeah, so question, would it be best to put in a smoothie because it's grainy too? I'm always drinking smoothies. Yeah, so you could totally add this to smoothies. If you're not afraid of color, you can actually add the kale and fiber. This will make your smoothies green, okay? Um, but it, it has a little bit of graininess if you add a whole packet into a smoothie for one person. So I'd probably cut it in half. Um, depends on how much you like or dislike texture but otherwise i would just put like one tablespoon in there into your smoothie and you won't even notice it all right so um again it tells you right here what you can add it into and the reason i like to keep it in my just right next to my stove is because that way i don't forget that i have it and i can just sprinkle it in there all the time so i try to use at least one or two of these a day to just boost our nutrition so here's the kale and fiber all right so kale and fiber same thing the only two ingredients are chicory root fiber and kale powder. So this is this has two cups of freeze-dried kale, and you can see the ingredients right here. 
That's all that's in there and some chicory root for added fiber, right? So two cups of kale, freeze dried kale in this little pouch, right? Um, and those are packed full of vitamin A, C, and K plus. And um, chicory root is really good for your gut as well. So, all right. Again, I'm not a nutritionist. I just like to boost my nutrition a little bit. Hey, Jenkins. And especially boost the ones for my kids because mommies, raise your hands. My kids do not eat all the vegetables they're supposed to be eating. All right. So here's what this one looks like. Now, be Oh, shoot. <laughs> this totally point. <laughs> I just totally poured out of it out. All right. It's all good. Let's have some kale in my office. Why not? Okay. So this one, well, the first time I smelled this, I was like, oh my God, it smells so kale All right. It definitely has a smell, but it doesn't taste like that at all. So here you go. It's very green. So two cups of freeze dried kale with some chicory root. That's all it is. Right, you can see it like we lose a little cloud. So this one I use a lot of times. I'm sneaky with my family. My kids, if I tell them it's oregano, maybe it's the Italian, right? If I tell them it's oregano, they uh, tend to eat it because they think it's just seasoning. So if I'm making fries, um, roasted vegetables, roasted potatoes, whatever. I just sprinkle this on like it's seasoning. And in my mommy head, right, I'm like, yay, I'm sprinkling kale into my kid's diet. So my kids would never, anybody, would your kids eat kale? My kids would never eat kale. Never in a million years. Mark would eat spinach, but that's it. I don't think he would ever eat kale. I mean, maybe. I don't know. But it's not very normal for kids to eat kale, right? So it just makes me feel better to just sprinkle that. So even in their eggs, their scrambled eggs, I just sprinkle a little bit. And they're like, what's this green stuff? I'm like, oh, it's oregano. I mean, I guess I'll never watch this video. So it's all good, right? Um, uh, we've also done green eggs and ham. So that's pretty fun. Um, and they just think it's food coloring. We've done green waffles. We've done green pancakes, and sometimes I just tell them it's food coloring, and sometimes I don't. Um, now they're kind of used to it, so I'm, sometimes I ask, I'm like, can I make it a little bit green so it's a little healthier for you? And they're like, okay, fine, just a little bit. So this one will uh, change the color of whatever you're doing. So I like to actually add this to a lot of darker things, like if you're making tacos, ground beef throw that in there. It'll brighten it up a little bit, but it doesn't really change the whole color. Uh, brownies is great because they're nice and dark. Um, I've thrown it into chili. I've thrown it into spaghetti sauce. Now, again, depending on how much sauce you make, you might just want to go in there. So what I kind of do is I sprinkle and see how much can I get in before it changes the color too much. So my kids are going to be like, what the heck did you give me? So that's kind of how I, how I use it. So, but you see, it's nice and green and pretty and you can get all your greens in, okay? So these are the enrichables, pea protein, kale and fiber with uh, freeze dried kale and chicory root. And again, you're just adding this onto whatever you're already eating. So you don't have to go out of your way. It boosts your nutrition. It's not a diet, it's not a weight loss, whatever you want to call it. Okay. It's just boosting your daily nutrition. So most of us do not get enough protein and I try to get all my protein in and I still end up short. So I'm like, Hmm, what can I throw 10 grams of protein in? So I just sprinkle into whatever I eat typically at dinner and the same with our fiber and our vegetables. We don't tend to get the vegetables that we're supposed to get in, right? So I will post, um, DM me if you want the Google form. It's also posted up here, right? You can also find it in my link and I will gladly give you some enrichables because I love, love, love them. We use them all the time and um, it's just become like a new staple in our family. And, you know, especially now if you're stuck at home and you're eating a bunch of canned stuff that doesn't have the nutrition you're looking for, these are definitely a good thing. And you know what? Just try it for a month. Sneak the, get the snack, snack, not sneak, snack the subscription right now while it's 30% off. And then if you want to cancel next month, go ahead, right? But I'm challenging you to boost your nutrition. I know for a fact that not very many people get everything that they're supposed to be getting every single day in their nutrition. So thanks for joining me live. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to share this video with your friends or tag them in the comments. 
And uh, hope you guys have a happy Wednesday. Thanks for watching.